Good morning children. Today we are going to learn the new concept which is construct a truth table. Okay. To construct the truth table we need the following basic that is note. Listen carefully. See note. Okay. To learn truth table it is enough to learn this basic. Okay. See the first one is see for example inverted cap. So this inverted cap denotes R. It is meant that R. Okay. R means addition, that's all, okay? Inverted cap denotes R, R means addition. Next, yes, this symbol is known as R. This symbol is known as R. Next, here R means addition. And also, next, cap denotes. Cap denotes and, okay? Cap denotes and. Here, cap denotes and, and means multiplication. Here, and is a conjunction, okay? Here, inverted cap, denotes R, R means addition, which is a conjunction. And the cap denotes and, and means multiplication. Here, yes, and means multiplication. That's the idea. And one more idea. Here, we have true and false. Yes. To draw the truth table, we need true or false. True and false. Okay. The, the truth table is filled by true and false. Now, true means 1 or 2. Suppose your answer 2 means that is a true. And your answer 1 means true. That's all. And conversely, true means 1 and true means either 1 or 2. Okay. Next. False. False means 0. 0 means false. Conversely. Okay. True means 1. 1 means true. Similarly, sometimes 2 also denotes true. False means 0. 0 means true. false. That's all. So, these two, one idea. Okay, next, uh, listen, which is, uh, if then, okay, if then, if you study well, you will be boss. Okay, it is if then, conditional class, if then. Next, we have, if and only if, if and only if, okay, if and only if. That is, this uh, symbol is known as a biconditional statement. It is a conditional statement, it is a biconditional statement. If and only if, that's all. Sir, okay. It is a one side arrow, it is a double side arrow. Double side arrow. For one side arrow, same means true. Same means true. Same means means, suppose uh, you are uh, in truth table, true, true, same. Therefore, answer is true. False, false, same. Therefore, answer is true. If it is the same, the answer is true. For example, true, true, answer is true. False, false, same. Therefore, answer is true. That's all. Okay, for one side arrow, if it is different, different means true, false, false, true. So, okay, if it is different, then your answer is false. That's all. Okay, next day, come to biconditional statement. That is double side arrow. It is meant that if and only if, that is biconditional statement. Okay, now listen here, suppose the same means, same means true is the answer. See, for example, True, true, same, therefore answer is true. False, false, same, therefore answer is true. That's all. Okay, now. Similarly, for double side arrow, that is for a biconditional statement, if it is different, different means false is the answer. Okay. Different means false is the answer. But uh, say we did a small mistake, that is here for a conditional statement. For a conditional statement, same means true, okay, but different means, okay, but different means ending is the answer. Yes, ending is the answer. Yes, that's all. Ending is the answer. Again, listen. Say so for one side arrow, same means true is the answer. Different means ending is the answer. Okay, ending is the answer. See, for example, uh, true to false. So false is the answer. Sometimes, False, true, 
false to true, then true is the answer, likewise. Okay, so these two one package. Yes, but. Now listen, now, now we have one more symbol, that is, it is said to be exclusive R. So inverted cap, whole bar. Inverted cap, whole bar denotes exclusively R. Okay, exclusive R. Which is meant that in this case, same means, suppose same. Same means false is answer, and the different means, different means true is answer, that's all. Same means a false is answer, and a different means a true is answer. So, box it. So, to learn truth table, it is enough to learn this basic. Okay, it is a note. Without knowing this, we can't construct a truth table. Now, listen again, revision. Say, inverted cap means R, R means addition. Next, cap denotes and, and means multiplication. Next, true means one, one means true. Sometimes, two also. Suppose your answer is 2 means 2 also denotes a true. That's all. And uh, false means 0. 0 means false. Okay. Bro. Next. For one side arrow, that is if then, conditional statement. For one side arrow, same means true and the different means ending is answer. But for biconditional statement, that is for double side arrow, same means true and the different means false is the answer. Okay. Listen here. Same true, same true, but here only differs. Different mean here, different means ending is answer, here different means false is the answer. But uh, for exclusive or, exclusive or denotes inverted cap bar, here same means false and different means true. Say for example, true, true, same, so false is the answer, and false, false, same, so false is the answer. Here different means true, false, different, so answer true. And the false true, different, therefore answer true. That's all. Now, see, yesterday we completed up to five sums. Today, uh, six sum is very simple. Okay, so that is why six sum left for you as homework. Six sum is a construct, construct the truth table. That's all. But uh, six question, seventh question, uh, same model, same model. Six question, just uh, draw the truth table. But the seventh question, we want to identify. Uh, whether it is a tautology or contradiction or contingency. So that is the difference. Sixth question, just a truth table. But the seventh question, truth table after, we want to write one single line answer. That's all. That only differs. So that is why sixth sum left for you as homework. Now myself, seventh question. In seventh question also, there are totally four subdivisions are there. Okay. Totally four subdivisions in seventh topic. And uh, I am doing fourth subdivision and the remaining three left for you as homework. That's the idea. Now listen to the topic. Verify the following compound propositions. Verify the following compound, see, compound propositions, which means that is a propositions means a statement. So the following are compound statements. Okay. So verify the following compound statements are tautologies or contradiction or contingency. We want to verify. So okay. Listen, first of all. What is going to be tautology means? See, we are going to construct the truth table in which the last column fully true, 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 true means which is a tautology. The statement is a tautology. Okay. Suppose you are going to construct a truth table in which the last column fully false, 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 false. Then it is, then the statement is said to be contradiction. Okay. Sometimes uh, we are going to construct a truth table in which True, false, false, true, 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 false, likewise. So true and false are uh, mixing. Okay. True and false are mixing means which is a contingency. That's all. It is a very simple concept. Okay. Listen again. So identify whether tautology or contradiction or contingency. Tautology means the last column fully true, 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 true. Contradiction means the last column fully false, 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 false. And the contingency means true and false are mixed. True, false, false, true, 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 false, likewise. Okay? Now listen to the question. See, the fourth sum is myself. Here, P tends to Q and cap denotes and. And Q tends to R. So these two brackets covered by the total bracket. Okay, first moon bracket, 
second moon bracket. So these two brackets covered by one bigger bracket, bigger moon bracket. Tends to P tends to R is a question. Okay, here can you tell me how many simple statements are there? Anyone? Yes, there are three simple statements. They are P, Q, R. So there are three simple statements P, Q, R. Yes, only P, Q, R is repeated. Okay, P, Q, R. There are three simple statements. There are three simple statements. Therefore, the number of rows in the truth table is equal to 2 power 3. That's all. There are three simple statements, namely P, Q, R. If there are three simple statements, then number of rows in the truth table. Number of rows in the truth table is equal to 2 power 3, where the base 2 is fixed. And the power 3 is number of simple statements. Okay. Now, 2 cube is equal to 8. So, there are 8 rows are there. So, this truth table contains 8 rows. Okay. Sometimes, if there are two statements, P and Q. Now, can you tell me how many rows? There are two simple statements, P and Q. Okay. So, there are two simple statements, P and Q means the number of rows is equal to 2 power 2. That's all. So, 2 power 2 is equal to 4 rows are there. Okay. Now, one more question. If there are n simple statements, can you tell me how many rows in the truth table? Anyone? Yes. That is 2 power n rows are there. The base 2 fixed. Okay. Base 2 fixed. The power is number of simple statements. There are n simple statements. Therefore, number of rows in the truth table is equal to 2 power n. This is a concept. Okay. Now, now come to this question. Here there are three simple statements namely P, Q, R. Therefore, number of rows in the truth table is equal to 2 power 3 is equal to 8. Okay. 2 power 3 is equal to 8. Now, this 8 is divided by 2. Okay. 8 is divided by 2 which is equal to 4. That means, say your answer is 4. 8 is divided by 2, your answer is 4. Here 4 means the first column is filled by 4 true and 4 false. That's the idea. Okay. I want to draw 8 rows first. Okay. The truth table contains 8 rows for our convenience. Here, because the place is not sufficient, I want to write somewhat upwards. Listen, number of rows is equal to 2 power 3 is equal to 8. 8 is divided by 2, which is equal to 4, which means in first column contains 4 true, 4 false. That's the idea. Okay, pa. Now I want to construct the truth table. Listen carefully. The sum is very simple, very, very easy. But you want to listen carefully. Yes. Listen, pa. first, say P, Q, R. There are three simple statements. Therefore, first column P. Okay. Next, second column Q. Okay. Second column Q. And uh, here no place, so that is why somewhat upwards. Next part. Say first, uh, first column P, second column Q. Next column is R. So there are three simple statements P, Q, R. Okay. Next idea is P, Q, R completed. Now come to the first moon bracket. Okay. Three statements over. Next day, complete the first moon bracket. The first moon bracket is P tends to Q. Okay. And also here there is no negation. Say for example, negation P, negation Q, negation R. Likewise, there is no statement. Only P, Q, R only present. Therefore, P, Q, R over. Suppose here negation P, negation Q are available means negation P, negation Q like that we want to draw the columns. Here no negation. Straight away, moon bracket, moon bracket, moon bracket is only available. So first complete the moon bracket answers. Okay. Take the first moon bracket, P tends to Q. Okay. First moon bracket, P tends to Q. Next, second moon bracket, Q tends to R. Next, third moon bracket, P tends to R. Okay, P tends to R. So, three brackets completed. Three brackets completed. First moon bracket, second moon bracket, third moon bracket. Then, see, these two moon brackets covered by one more, that is a bigger moon bracket. So, this bigger moon bracket fully one statement. So that is, here I want to write P tends to Q bracket and Q tends to R, complete the bracket. Okay, this fully, one column. Okay, now listen again, P, Q, R, over. 
फर्स्ट ब्रैक नेक्स्ट डे फर्स्ट ब्रैकेट सेकंड ब्रैकेट थर्ड ब्रैकेट हो गए देन सो दिस टू ब्रैकेट्स कवर्ड बाय वन मोर बिगर मून ब्रैकेट सो दिस बिगर मून ब्रैकेट अलोन वन स्टेटमेंट नाउ द टोटल क्वेश्चन कम्स इन लास्ट कॉलम ओके टोटल क्वेश्चन कम्स इन लास्ट कॉलम सो द टोटल क्वेश्चन इज गिवन बाय p tends to q yes p tends to q bracket and already here bigger moon bracket open so here there is no place i want to adjust again listen for here listen see bigger moon bracket small moon bracket p tends to q complete and uh, here and uh, moon bracket q tends to r okay q tends to r q tends to r bigger moon bracket so up to this complete which it tends to okay again which it tends to which it tends to p tends to r p tends to r complete the moon bracket okay then complete your table now i want to construct the table first because i have no more place so that is why i am drawing like this but you have more place in your class work okay listen first i want to complete my table yes table is ready okay already we aimed that there are three simple statements therefore number of rows in the truth table is equal to 2 power 3 2 power 3 is equal to 8 there are eight rows there are eight rows in the truth table in which 8 is divided by 2 then 4 true 4 false okay first draw the eight rows first listen eight rows first we want to draw eight rows and before that here 4 true 4 false so first we fill like that listen true 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 four true over next day four false listen four false means listen carefully false 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 that's all now eight rows listen first row next second row okay third row okay any doubt no doubt next day fourth row yes fourth row next day fifth row fifth row next day sixth row yes now seventh row and eighth row so this path is divided by half carefully see i have no more place so that is why i am struggling but you have more place okay um, without fear you want to draw the table here first of all no need to count counting is no need so just there are eight rows first four true four false that's all then fill it okay and uh, columns also no need to count there are three statements then first bracket second bracket third bracket then the bigger bracket alone one statement the total question one statement that's all no need to count here how many rows how many columns like that but uh, say rows only we can identify there are eight rows are there count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 becomes 4 true 4 false okay now now small idea this 4 is divided by 2 4 is divided by 2 your answer is 2 here 2 means 2 true okay 2 true and 2 false 2 true and 2 false likewise listen true true then false false okay 2 true 2 false similar idea true true false false okay yes completed next day or say 8 is divided by 2 4 so 4 true 4 false 4 is divided by 2 2 is the answer so 2 true and 2 false now again yourself very good now 2 is divided by 2 answer is 1 which means 1 true 1 false in third column listen 1 true 1 false 1 true one false one true one false one true one false okay yes completed now come to here 
and all the way told you. So to construct the truth table, we need the basic. Listen the basic one time. This basic important. Listen carefully. Here, or means inverted cap. Inverted cap means addition. Okay. Next, and and means cap and and means cap which denotes multiplication. Okay. And also true means one and one means true. Sometimes your answer is two also denotes true. Next, false means zero. Zero means false. So these two one idea. Next, say one side arrow and a double side arrow. Okay, in which conditional statement by conditional statement. If then it is if and only if. And here we have the idea. Here same, same means true is answer. Here also same means true is answer. No problem. Okay. Next, different. For one side arrow, different means ending is the answer. Okay, ending is the answer. Different means ending is the answer. Okay, if it is different, then ending is the answer. For double side arrow, different means false is the answer. Different means false is the answer. That's all. So, before learning truth table, first day you must learn this topic. Okay, and also we have one more concept, which is the last one is yes. The last one is exclusive or. In exclusive or, same means false and uh, different means true. Already we have in class. Okay. Now come to this topic. First moon bracket. P tends to Q. Listen carefully. P tends to Q. Where is P and Q? Yes. P, Q. Yes. Listen. P tends to Q. Okay. P tends to Q. P tends to Q. Downwards. True, true, same. Listen. True, true, same. So true is answer. Same means true is answer. We told it for one side arrow, same means true is answer. Okay. P tends to Q. Here, P tends to Q. Okay. Downwards, true, true, same. So true is answer. Come to downwards. True, true, same. True is answer. TF different. Okay. TF different. Different means ending is answer. See, TF different. Different means ending is answer for one side arrow. Ending means T tends to F. Therefore, F is answer. Okay? Yes. Come to here. TF different. So, ending is answer. That is because P tends to Q, which means true tends to false. True tends to false. Therefore, false is the answer. Okay. Come to here. FT different. FT different. Different means ending is answer. P tends to Q, which means F tends to T. So, true is the answer. Okay. Come to here. FT different. Therefore, F tends to T, therefore T is the answer. Next, F, F, same. Okay, F, F, same. Okay, F, F, same. Same means true is the answer. Next, F, F, same. Same means true is the answer. Okay, for one side arrow, same means true is the answer. Different means ending is the answer. That's all. Completed. Next, Q tends to R. Q tends to R. Where is Q and R? Yes. Q tends to R. Okay, downwards. Q tends to R. Downwards. T, T, same. True is answer for one side arrow. One side arrow, same means true is answer. Different means ending is answer. Okay, come to downwards. T, F, different. T, F, different means T to F. Therefore, F is answer. Next, F, T, different. F to T, so T is answer. Next, F, F, same. True is answer. T, T, same. True is answer. Okay. Next, come to here. T, F, different. Different means ending is answer, ending is F. So F is answer. Next, FT different, ending is answer T. So F, F, same, so true is answer. Same means true is answer. That's all. Okay. Now next, P tends to R. Listen, P tends to R means P or P tends to R. P tends to R. Okay, come to downwards. Yes, keep the figure like this. T, T, same, true is answer. Yes. T, F different. Different means ending is answer. That is F. Yes, but T T same. True is answer. Now here after yourself. Yes. T F different. Yes, ending. F is answer. Okay, come to downwards. Yourself. F to T. Different. So F T different. Therefore F to T. So T is answer. Next downwards. F F same. Yes. Same means true is answer. Downwards. FT different. Different means ending. Ending is answer. That is T is answer. 
Next is the last one. F F same same means true is answer. Okay. Same means true is answer. Complete. Okay. Come to here. Here the first moon bracket one statement. Second moon bracket other statement. And the middle relation we want to consider. The middle relation is cap. Cap means under. Okay. Middle relation is under. Under means cap. And the cap denotes multiplication. Important. Cap denotes multiplication. Okay. Cap denotes multiplication. Also, we know the technique. True means one. False means zero. Okay. Conversely, your answer one means true, zero means false. Okay. Bro. Now, P tends to Q. Listen. P tends to Q and then Q tends to R. So these two, these two statements. Okay. Come to downwards. What is the middle relation? And and means multiplication. Important. And means multiplication. Okay. And means multiplication. Multiplication means True means one, true means one. So one into one, one. One means true. Yes, completed. Okay. Come to downwards. Downwards here. True one, false zero. So one into zero, zero. Zero means false. Okay. Come to downwards. Yes. Here after yourself. Very good. So here zero into one, zero. Zero means false. Come to downwards. Zero into one, zero. Zero means false. Yes, come to downwards. One into one, one. One means true. Come to downwards. One into zero, zero. Zero means false. Come to downwards. One into one, one. One means true. Next, come to downwards. One into one, one. One means true. Yes, after this completed. Now, come to the, the total question. Okay, here, the first bracket fully one statement. And the last bracket is one statement. There are two statements. So before this arrow one statement, this bigger bracket fully one statement, and the last bracket one statement, the middle relation is one side arrow. The middle relation is one side arrow. That is important. Which is the middle relation. Okay. Now, listen. So it is a bigger bracket and the P tends to R. Okay. So these two I want to compare. So this bigger bracket to P tends to R. This to this. Okay, bro. come to downwards. Come to downwards means one side arrow. For one side arrow, same means true, different means ending is the answer. Here T T same, so true is the answer. Here after yourself. Come to downwards. Yes. F F same, same means true is the answer. Come to downwards. T F different. T F different. But uh, here bigger bracket to smaller bracket. So that is why here F T different. So F to T because bigger bracket to the smaller bracket. Therefore, F to T, therefore T is the answer. Okay. Left side. We want to move left side because of this condition. Okay. Next one. Come to here. F F same. Same means true is the answer for one side arrow. Okay. Downwards. Here. Uh, T T same. So true is the answer. Okay. Come to downwards. F to T. See here. F T different. F T different means. F to T, ending is answer, so T is answer. Downwards, T, T same, yourself, yes, true is answer. And the downwards, T, T same, same means true is answer for one side arrow. Okay? Now listen, the last column contains only T. T, 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 T. So last column contains only T, therefore, the given statement is a tautology. The given statement is a tautology. So that is a concept. It is very simple. The last column contains only T. Listen the conclusion. The last column contains only T. The last column. The last column contains only T. The last column contains only T. Therefore, the given statement is a tautology. The given statement is a tautology. Therefore, the given statement is a tautology. The given statement is a tautology. Okay. Here, one can write this a total question is a tautology. So, that is very easy, important. Listen carefully. Say, bigger bracket, P tends to Q. Okay, bracket. And, and Q tends to R bracket, bigger moon bracket. Okay, which it tends to, which it tends to, P tends to R, P tends to R, is a tautology. So, this statement is a tautology, is a tautology. 
easy and tautology. Yes, tautology. Listen carefully. Yes, easy and tautology. Else the answer. Children, listen. Now, eighth question. Eighth question. So that in eighth question there are two subdivisions in which the first one makes it, second subdivision is homework. Okay. In eighth question, negation P and Q is equivalent to. So this symbol is known as equivalent to. Okay. Equivalent to negation P or negation Q is the question. Okay. Equivalent. Here equivalent means here equivalent before one statement, equivalent after one statement. We want to say these two statements are equivalent. If the two statements are said to be equivalent, then these two, suppose the left side statement one column and the right side statement one column. So these two columns are equal. Therefore, these two statements are said to be equivalent. Sometimes uh, these two statements the columns are not equal. Then these two statements are not equivalent. So like this, not equivalent. Also, we are available sums. Okay. Now come to the question. Here, can you tell me how many simple statements are there? Count it. Yes. Very good. Say P, Q. Uh, again, uh, P, Q. Nagation P, Nagation Q. Here, P, Q. Yes, P, Q only repeated. There is no R. Okay. So, there are two simple statements. Listen carefully. There are two simple statements. Therefore, can you tell me number of rows? Yes. 2 power 2. There are two simple statements. Therefore, number of rows in the truth table is equal to 2 power 2. 2 power 2 is equal to 4. That's our preparation. Okay. Here the base 2 fixed. And here the power comes according to the question. There are two simple statements. Therefore, 2 power 2. There are three simple statements. Therefore, number of rows is equal to 2 power 3. Equal to 8. There are n simple statements. Then number of rows is equal to 2 power n. Likewise. Here there are two simple statements. P and Q. Therefore, number of rows in the truth table is equal to 2 square is equal to 4. Okay, now this 4 is divided by 2. 4 is divided by 2, your answer is 2, which means here 2 means in first column 2 true and 2 false, like that. Okay, now first of all, I need 4 rows, and before that, listen, it is very simple preparation, very, very easy. Okay, Pa. See, first a P, Q, listen, first column P. Second column, Q. Okay? Next day, P, Q completed. Next day, I want to complete the bracket. And before bracket, first P, Q completed. Next, I identify negation P and negation Q available means that you want to write the next columns. First P, Q, then available negation P and negation Q. So that is why negation P and negation Q. But before question, only P, Q, R. There is no negation P, negation Q. So that is why uh, we are not right, uh, we are not written in the before question. But here, P, Q, next also available negation P and negation Q. Okay. Next, uh, want to come to moon bracket. Next, the first moon bracket. Complete the bracket answer. That is next, uh, P and uh, Q. Okay. P and Q. Bracket only. Want to find. Next, uh, take the total. The total statement is, listen again, very simple, P, Q, next to negation P, negation Q. Negation is available means first you want to write, then complete the moon bracket, P and Q, okay. Then take the whole statement, and here only one bracket available. Suppose right side bracket available means you want to write, here right hand side no bracket. So that is why first complete the moon bracket, so bracket answer is completed, then take the whole statement which is negation of P and Q. Negation of P and Q, one column. Okay. Again, P, Q completed. Next, negation P, negation Q, first bracket, one column. And uh, there is no other brackets. Then, negation of P and Q, one column. Now, come to right side. Okay. The last one is right side. The last one is negation P or negation Q. That's all. So, which is the last column. Okay. Now, Already I told, there are two simple statements. Number of rows is equal to 2 square equal to 4. Now, 4 is divided by 2. There are 4 rows in which 4 is divided by 2. Your answer is 2, which means 2 true and 2 false. That's idea. Now listen carefully. True, true. 
Next day, false, false. That's all. Now, complete the table like this. Okay? You want to complete the table like this. Okay. After this, ready. Now, draw the rows first. Listen. First row. Yes, first row. Next. Second row. Next. Third row. And fourth row. Yes, four rows completed. One, two, three, four rows completed. Next day, in four rows, two true and two false. True, true, false, false over. Now, again, idea yourself. Yes, this two is divided by two, which is equal to one. One means, in second column, one true, one false. Okay, one true, one false, one true, one false. Here, two true, two false. Now, half of that, one true, one false, one true, one false. Over. Next, negation P. Negation P means negative sentence of P. Okay, negative. That means uh, negation P. See, it is P. Negation P means opposite answer. Okay. True means false, false means true. So that is a negation. Okay, but it is a P, but it is negation P. Okay, come to downwards. Yes, true, opposite, false. Next, Fal say true, opposite, false. False, opposite, true. False, opposite, true. Over. Next, negation Q. Okay, it is Q. True, true, opposite, false. Next, yourself. Yes, very good, very good. False, opposite, true. Next, true, opposite, false. Here, after yourself. False, opposite, true. Yes, completed. Come to here. Here, P and Q. Okay, here, and means multiplication. See, listen carefully. And means multiplication. So, this symbol is and. And means multiplication. Okay, P and Q. Where is P and Q? Yes, P and Q. P, Q. Come to downwards. Here, listen. Cap denotes and, and means multiplication. True means one. True means one. One into one? Yes, one. One means true. Yes, come to downwards. Yes, Paul. Here, true means one, false means zero. One into zero? Zero. So, zero means false. Come to downwards. Yes, zero into one? Zero. Zero means false. Come to downwards. Yes, false means zero, false means zero. Okay, zero into zero? Zero. Zero means false. Why we are multiplying? Because and means multiplication. Yes, completed. Next, uh, negation of P and Q. It is P and Q and uh, it's opposite answer. Negation of P and Q. That means P and Q opposite answer. Okay, that means uh, true. True opposite false. Yes, false opposite. Very good, true. Next, false opposite, true. Yes, next. False opposite, true. Yes, completed. Yes, come to the last one. The last one is negation P or negation Q. Okay, what is the symbol? R. Listen carefully, R. R means addition. Okay, inverted cap denotes R. R means addition. That's all. Okay, now negation P, negation Q. Where it is? Yes, negation P, negation P, negation Q. Yes, negation P, negation Q. Come to downwards. Okay. Here, I told already, inverted cap means R, R means addition. Now, I want to add. Okay, pa. False means zero. False means zero. Zero plus zero, because we are adding. Zero plus zero? Yes, zero. Zero means false. Next, come to downwards. Yes, zero plus one. Zero plus one? Yes, one. We are adding. So, one means true. Come to downwards. Yes. 1 plus 0. Very good. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 means true. Okay. Come to downwards. Yes. True means 1. True means 1. We are adding. Therefore, 1 plus 1, 2. Say, 1 plus 1, 2. Your answer 2 means the answer is true. Whether your answer 1 also true and the answer 2 also true. So, 1 plus 1, 2. Your answer is 2. That is also true. Okay. Your answer 2 gives also true is answer. That's all. Which we completed. Listen. Before topic, identify whether tautology, contradiction and a contingency. Listen. For that, last column fully true, it is a tautology. Last column fully F, it is a contradiction. And the last column mixed, it is a contingency. But uh, now 8th question is a different topic. That is 8th question is so that or prove that okay 
so that negation of P and Q is equivalent to negation P or negation Q. Okay, here I want to prove equivalent. Equivalent means left side one statement, right side one statement. Can you tell me where is left side statement? Left side statement in the table? Left side? Yes. Negation of P and Q. Yes, here available. Okay. So, which is we can give one name after. Okay. Next up. Where is uh, negation P or negation Q? Yes. Which is lost. Which is lost. Now listen. For example, let us give the name no problem. So, let it be first equation, it is a second equation. From 1 and 2, it is clear that. Verify by individual inspection. Yes, by individual inspection, fail, fail. That is a false, false. True, true. True, true. True, true. So, so left side statement and the right side statement are identical. Left side statement and the right side statement are identical. Therefore, these two statements are equivalent. That answer we want to write. For our convenience, let it is equals number 1 and this column is equals number 2. From 1 and 2 it is clear that. Here I have no place, more place, so that is why I want to do that is small arrows. Okay, for my convenience. Let it be which is the first equation and it is second equation. From 1 and 2. Okay, from 1 and 2. From 1 and 2 it is clear that from 1 and 2, that is a first column and a second column. Okay. From 1 and 2, it is clear that the columns are identical. Okay. The columns are identical. The, from 1 and 2, it is clear that the columns are the last, that is the columns are identical. The columns are identical. The columns are identical. Okay. The columns are identical. Therefore, say this LH statement is equal to this RH statement. Okay. Therefore, say first one. Negation of P and Q is equal to negation P or negation Q. So, hence proved. That's all. Okay. There is a place. Uh, I have no place, I think. So, hence proved.